The Rebenefit Show is a social music festival that aims to eradicate poverty and make a difference in the lives of those in need. Now, this initiative is the brainchild of Rufus DJ Ri Muremi and his MR Foundation to come up with means to raise funds to feed the homeless people on the streets of Johannesburg. Set to take place this afternoon at Gualichaba in Soweto, the lineup this year includes the likes of uh, Sia Shezi, Soweto's finest, DJ Sabi, DJ Zand, Bizizi, and KG, just to name a few. Now, DJ Ri is in studio this morning to tell us more about this initiative. Ri, a very good morning. Welcome. Morning to you, my brother. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Good to see you too, my brother. I'm well. This, this benefit show, uh, do give us more details as to what is it about. Um, I, I, we have a foundation that is called MR Foundation that we started about like six years ago. Um, when we started, I mean, I'm from there. I grew up in a black community like every other child out there. Most of us are South Africans. Yeah. And, and I, was, I, was, I was groomed with... A mentality of having comp compassion mm -hmm. um, yeah. um, and then from there obviously I realized that um, there's so much that we can do as young people in South Africa and on my position I asked myself what is it that I can do yes I'm a DJ I'm into music I'm into media but beyond that what is it that I can do to change people's lives and I just started um, you know doing what I'm doing right now, which is sharing food with our brothers and sisters on the streets of Johannesburg. Um, some of them, we've even went as far as taking them in for rehab. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the little that we are doing under the foundation. Um, so the festival part of um, this whole project is that, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a DJ, I'm into music, um, because I don't have fans to continue feeding these people, to continue taking these people in for rehab and helping them in anyhow. Mm -hmm. And then I asked myself, what is it that I can do with my gift? And then I, 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 I conceptualized the festival that is Re-Benefit Show to just in the name of raising uh, funds and raising the little that we can raise so that we can continue with the work of helping and making difference. So, um, you know, for the past three years, we've just been doing the show, which is a Re-Benefit Show. Like you saying today, we're doing the third edition in Soweto, Wadichaba, Chesanyama. Okay. Uh, people can come in and, and, and just support. It's only 100 rand to get in. Okay. And, and, and those who are watching right now, more than them paying the money, um, they, as much, in as much as they come into the show, they can just even bring their clothes um, that they right. feel they want to donate. And us later will take those clothes um, to, to, to those uh, child. You know, what you're doing, Ri, is not only personally gratifying for you, but uh, it is actually a means of building the community. You yeah. are contributing towards a community building. I mean, take yes. us through uh, three years. You say it started three years ago, isn't it? Yeah, the take festival us started three yeah. years ago. We're doing the third one today, the festival part of it. But the, the MR Foundation has to do the community project okay. and work. We've been doing it for six years. Take us through from when it was still an idea then into, uh, you know, the full blue Loan that uh, full blown success that it is today. Yeah, um, the, the festival or the the project, the community work that we do. The community work that you do. Um, the community work that we do. I mean, obviously, we started even now beyond us sharing food with our brothers and sisters, homeless guys. Uh, I've just been always um, active and involved with other organisations, um, like there's companies who are doing food distributions um, to different communities. I've always been part of that. Um, you know, just beyond what we are doing with our foundation which is sharing food with our brothers and sisters but um, it's just that it has been challenging because we we need as many as much help as we can from be it corporate be it individuals that would want to help us um, with the little that we are doing right now which is sharing food it's not enough um, we give these people food this morning um, later in the afternoon they are hungry again we need a helping hand as to you know take this furthermore I mean the, the bigger people picture now um, obviously is to at least have a mobile kitchen where we can be able to do this every week if not every day almost you know when we have that mobile kitchen which we don't have right now we'll be able to 
you know, do this different locations, even just nationwide, okay. and, and, and help these people. You know, apart from helping the disadvantaged, those who may not have the advantage that you're in, uh, what is it? What is your vision for your community? What kind of difference do you want to see? Yeah, like I said, my brother, the, the, one of the biggest challenges, if not the biggest problem we are facing right now in the country, and I think even in Africa and globally, it's it this whole thing of young people into drugs and alcohol, yeah. you know. So the, our vision is to just really help those who are addicted with drugs and alcohol, you know. As like I said, we've taken some of them to rehab, but it's only been, what, three of them for now. So we, we just want to help young people who have a problem of drugs and alcohol, you know, to be out of that, that, that space. And how can we do that? We need to house these people, meaning we need to have a shelter where we okay. take them in for rehab. When they come back from a rehab, we house them into that shelter. We don't have that property. Yeah. Hence, I'm saying we need a helping hand from anyone who's maybe watching right now so that they can help us. So that's our vision, to, to, to really um, deal with the young people, take them out of the drugs and alcohol by any means. Yes, certainly. And for those who are watching right now who want to lend a helping hand to this initiative, how, are they, how will they be part of this, of, of this festival? They, they, like I said, they, the show is today. How do you get hold of the too. tickets? They can come through. Um, we have we sell the tickets at door? the gate. Okay. Yeah, it's hundred bucks at the gate. Got each other just by Villa Gazi Street as you're going towards okay. Nelson Mandela House. Um, that's where our venue is today, from twelve o'clock until late. Okay. Uh, people, they can come through, and then um, obviously they can just be in touch with me on social media. Those who are maybe far from Houting, mm -hmm. they are unable to make it to the show today, they can be in touch with me on social media. I am DJ Re both on Twitter and on Instagram. Okay. Um, just in case going forward, they would love to help us. But I would love to see everyone who's watching right now coming in numbers and right, um, sure. contributing to the show. Like I said, even if they have t-shirts, you know, it might be parts we take, anything they, they, they want to donate. Or even food parcels. Or yeah, food parcels. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you so Thank much you so for much, making a brother. difference in the lives of those who are disadvantaged. All I the best, eh? All right, all the best, man. All I'm out. Good stuff. Now, that was DJ Re, and he's been speaking to us about this initiative, the Re Benefit Show, that he'll be headlining this afternoon at Gwali Chaba in Soweto.